Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flower Gold Wizard Channel. I'm Jason, part-time gold prospector based in Wisconsin. And I have numerous gold mining partners along today. They're off camera a little bit. Uh, if you can see behind me, I have a number of tubes and some holes and whatnot here. We're gonna attempt to do a little bit of gravity dredging today. Now I've attempted this in the past and it worked up to a point. Uh, my design was a little flawed last time. I did get it to work, but uh, I've got a lot of great um, advice from the comments section and we've added a couple of this and a couple of that so hopefully it works the water is a little bit cold yet you know probably 35 36 degrees so we probably won't be in there hands-on all day long but for uh testing purposes uh the weather is beautiful for it so let me show you exactly what we brought along well here comes my mining partners now there's bowser and rex there's rigby he's right there they're my mining partners today. That's right. They're already inspecting the equipment. So what we brought was, now these are the same tubes we used last time. I believe I had four of them set up, but I brought five today. I think I, I should be able to stretch out five from way up there to a sluice way down there somewhere. And the last time I just had the same size holes, suction holes, way up on the top end up on one of these pipes, and I used that. A flexible hose to do all my uh, suctioning well it, it just it wasn't proper so uh, the viewers commenters suggested I get a, a Y pipe right here and I did so basically this is a restrictor Y it's a two inch two inch same pipe same pipe two inch and it restricts down to an inch and a quarter and the object of that is to have what's called a venturi effect where you have high pressure in this hose high pressure in this hose and where you have a restriction you will have a low pressure which creates a vacuum uh, through this hose right here now i may be missing another part here i think i might need a restrictor right right exactly right here but i'm kind of hoping that if i get one on the top end on the upstream side, I have a restrictor here. I could just stick it on this here pipe and it might create the same low pressure type draw on the top end, but you still have a high pressure uh, gravity weight right here going into the, the Venturi area here. So that's what we're gonna test today. I just didn't grab the right darn fitting over at the Home Depot there. <laughs> but uh, if this works, who knows? So let me get this stuff set up and we'll we'll see what's going on here but first let me show you around a little bit now uh the last video i did out in the field was actually from this location this big old log right here it comes out of a chute and it opens up into an, an alluvial fan so to speak <laughs> and i got a pretty good size of hole going right here and we got some good gold out of there some some bigger gold too and which was really really encouraging so a system like this you know, it might be a little bit less backbreaking once you get everything up and running and in order. So let's do that. Now there is just a little bit of a trick to this. <laughs> you gotta try to get this here pipe as flat as possible. And a nice straight line from top to bottom. That way the water has a really nice uh, trajectory uh, and it's not rubbing on the sides or going up and down or left and right. Uh, it's just a nice straight flow. I see my top end up here is out of the water just a little bit. You see that? Well, we've got uh, four on there. I, I'll have to clear a little bit of this debris down that way there if we want to get another one on there. But well, four worked last time. So uh, let me get this pipe straightened out and we'll see if we have any suck. All right, so basically what all I had to do was pull this tube back this way just a little bit. And that, if I can get up and over a sting waterfall here. Ooh, there's some bigger rocks in here. That forced that end of that tube underneath the water. So I think what I'll just do is grab, grab one of these rocks around from around here somewhere. Here's one right here. Let me get here, grab that. I'll just stick it right on that end. That'll kind of hold that in place a little bit. Just like that. That's a pretty good amount. 
Uh, it's just below the water surface. I want to try to get as much height on this end as I can. And from there, it goes right down to that log right there. And I probably want to pick this up just a hair, just a little bit because it's deeper on top of the pipe right here, it looks like, than it is on top of the pipe right there. So I want to try to keep that a little bit level. And then as it goes down, you can see there's a big hump right there. It comes up and out of the water. So I'll probably try to keep the water level at the same level on the pipe all the way down to where I'm going to set my sluice up. All right, let's see how that goes. You crazy kids, I tell you. All right, we've got our pretty darn flat. Might have a little bit of a kink to the right there, and we can definitely correct that if need be. But I think we're sitting pretty good as far as flat goes. So let me see, I haven't even lifted this thing out of the water yet. Let's see what we got for water pushing out of there. That's a pretty good amount right there, for sure. More than enough to run my sluice, but does it suck? That's the question. Let me grab this here pipe. Right here. There we go, right here. And I think what we'll do, now this is a 12 foot section of black hose right here. If we added that, say right here, 12 feet would be more than enough to dredge all the way back to that stump up in there. And we were doing really good in that hole. So let me get that baby hooked up and see what happens. All right, I would say that we're in the hunt. I've got my, my Y pipe all filled up with water and I checked the suction on the top end right there. And that baby pulls your fingers in there pretty gall darn good and tight. So there's plenty of suction up top. Now this one here, it didn't have very much at all. You can barely feel it. I don't want to take it out of the water, but there is a little bit. It'll pull your two fingers towards it, but not nearly enough to what we need. So I'm going to try to take this restrictor right here and stick it up on the other end. And hopefully it kind of splits up the, the amount of suction this thing needs to flow the amount of water the gravity wants to push. And uh, it'll split it up between here and the suction hose. So let me go ahead and stick that on there. If and I can, yeah, we'll get that figured out. All right, we've got that on there, and that made a big difference, up here at least. That baby will really suck your fingers in there, I'm telling you. That has got a lot of suction right there. So let me go down to the hose end. Oh, you guys are driving me nuts today. Crazy boys. I got to move some of these big rocks before I... Wind up on my hinder here. All right, we'll get back over here. And we'll check the suction down here. Oh, I tell you, that is, well, it's not good. <laughs> not very good at all. Let me see if I can do a little working around here. Well, I've got my sluice set up over here. I brought some Dream Mat Micro along today. Most of the goal to get around here, I would say, 90 some percent, 99.9 percent .9 is really small flower gold, and that thing will work pretty decent, I hope. Now we've got a really good amount of flow coming out of there. That's a lot of water right there. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more pitch when I raise that up, 
anymore, I get a little bit less water flow in that pipe. So let's take a little jaunt up here. And I'll take this here underwater camera. And I'll drop it in down at the suck end over here. See if we can get some sucking action going on. Let's see, where's the end of my hose? <laughs> right over here. There it is. Oh, I just filled my wader up. Oh, darn it. All right. Let's see what happens here. Well, I don't know if you guys saw what I saw, but I didn't see any suction at all. Matter of fact, it might've been blowing a little bit. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of reconfiguring because up top, up at that very top section right there, that baby will suck two fingers off if you get them stuck in that hole. There is plenty up top there. And it just didn't matter if I put that restrictor in there or not. So I'm gonna play around with this just a little bit and see if we can't make something happen. Video update 33,504. Well, we actually have a little bit of material coming out of our pipe here. <laughs> uh, we just got a little bit of suction going up top. So before I really get into it, I just wanted to show you what I had to do to make that happen. Uh, it turns out with the equipment I brought, the way we had it set up, the last time we did this out here is working the best. I have since removed, here's that pipe. I removed the Y from right there and put it all the way up top here with my little restrictor. And with that restrictor, it still didn't have the suck I was looking for. So I just stuck a stick in the end right there. <laughs> there's the Y. Here's my pipe going up and over into this a uh, little deep gully here up in the chute and uh, I'll attempt to film that because it is definitely sucking a little bit. Let's check it out. Not too darn bad. I mean, it's it's not the greatest. This will definitely not be the end of this. <laughs> but it sure is a fun little project. I don't know how long it takes for that water and all that material to get down here. But you know, we haven't sucked up a whole lot. And there is some in the in the sluice here for sure. These little dream mats uh, seem to work pretty good. Yeah, there might be a little something right in there. Look how shiny that, that is right there. One never knows. <laughs> well, I'm going to jab that around in the water up there a little bit more and see what happens. And another little something, something shiny right there. What's going on around here? Is that gold? Very interesting. Well, let's see how much material we can get moved. Trying to get up and around. All these little boulders in here, these little cobbles, you just grab them, you suck up the material that's underneath them. Won't be able to get very deep with this system, at least today for sure. You know, but we'll get some material moved anyways. Well, we got a little bit more suction up on top. I just cut that darn hose off of that Y and stuck it right inside of this here tube down there. <laughs> and it worked slightly better until it got clogged up. So we gotta rethink our design here just a little bit. Uh, maybe I better pay a little bit closer attention to the comments. I think somebody told me possibly use the, to use a four inch pipe and then restrict your suction line down to like a two inch pipe, which kind of makes sense, but that's a lot of stuff to be dragging around out here. So I think what we're gonna do is put all this stuff back in the truck. And I got a couple of buddies that showed up. They're upstream just a little ways. And uh, I might go up there and mine with those guys. 
Uh, they did pretty darn good up in one of my spots up there, uh, not too far from here. And uh, they're good guys, and uh, maybe we'll all get a pound of gold today together. So let's get this wrapped up and head upstream. Well, maybe you guys recognize this spot. Here's my old dredge hole over there. Upstream about 18 miles further. I don't want to drag all that stuff up here. That was a pretty nice hole we had there though, that's for sure. These guys here, they're hard at it, man. Grinding. How much gold did you guys get out of this hole last time? Oh, we did pretty good. Yeah. Quarter gram or so? I'd say at least, yeah. After yeah. It was all said and done. Yeah, a little bit of grinding, that's for sure. Well, I'm gonna get grinding too, get my stuff all set up and start digging some digging some gravels. Ooh, wee, he's got a big old sluice here. That's bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, this should be a pretty easy setup. I can already lay my sluice down in there anywhere I want. And uh, I'm just gonna pick right, right up where we left off in here. Right at the bottom of that dredge hole, I'm still working my way down a little bit. There's a nice little bend right there. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna show you guys a piece of gravel or whatever this thing is here I just dug up. I think it's an old piece of conglomerate. All rusty and conglomerated. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. We'll go back and we'll crush that up, see if there's anything in this baby. Maybe there's something cool inside of there. I don't I I think this is the first time I ever dug anything like this up. Pretty cool. Now right, we're just gonna take a two minute break from digging. Oh, <laughs> that hole right there. We're gonna do a test pan. I'll fill this thing up quite a ways. We'll see what's in this stuff. Here's a take a little look at that material right there. Pretty much the same thing we always get around here, except once in a while you get some clay. Go ahead, stir that around. Hey, not too darn bad. Got four or five little pieces in there. It's really super duper tiny ones, and that one there is just a hair bigger. Let me see if I can put that into three. Oh yeah, there it's got a little shape, a little kidney or something. Right there. <laughs> but yeah, those are some mighty small chunks laying there next to it. But that's encouraging, for sure. He's my new little buddy right there. Kind of loud, but he sticks around. <laughs> All right, back to the grind. All right, Casey has since moved over to that side of the creek. He's got some clay over there. He wasn't finding much for clay over here. I'm sure there's still gold in it. Yep. But you get up to that, up in that clay there, you stand a much better chance of getting more and bigger pieces. That's for sure. Now we haven't hit clay over here yet, a little bit on the very tip of the shovel. But uh, we got to get this hole rounded out a little bit more before we get into any amount of it. And we do got a pretty good size of hole of brewing there. 
Now I got two full pails over here and I have not thrown a scoop on my sluice yet. And we're about to right now. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Looks a little fast. Yeah, I'm gonna have to slow this down just a little bit. Maybe put a couple of rocks to hold this thing up, up for me. What do you think of the big helpers over there? <laughs> big helpers. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> we have it moved and the sluice is not moving. Now we're working nice and slow just the way we want. There's a good amount of water rolling over these little capture vortices. And you can see they're dancing around really nicely, perfect. And the gold, is, well, look at that piece of gold right there. There's one right there, slipping down real slow. Yeah, that last scoop I put on there, there's another one right there. That last scoop I put on there had three or four of them in it. That one has four, look at that. One, two, where's my finger? Three, four, right there. <laughs> All right, we might be onto something here. Let's feed a bunch of this, see what it looks like. Hey, good news, everybody. It stopped raining. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Wisconsin. We're still grinding. Oh, there's a nice piece. Look at that one. I just happened to look down. Yeah, look at there. All right. Yeah, about halfway done with each bucket. I'm just kind of pulling out of each. Oh, give me a couple of minutes. All right, we've got both of those pails run. It looked pretty darn good. I would say that second pail, which would be the deeper stuff, I noticed more gold sticking to my indicator mat. But the proof will be in the pudding. That's the first time I ran this uh, Dream Mat Micro on a full scale basis. So let's take a little look. Everybody's having fun here. Here's all our material right here. That is not a lot. That is way less than I'm used to uh, running my other my other green mat. So we're gonna go ahead and try to pan this out out here in the wilderness quickly, just till we see some gold anyway. A little Bowser there, he's shivering his buns off. He's playing in the water all day. It's pretty, it's actually a little chilly out here today. Well, maybe not chilly, but it's not warm. <laughs> All right, let me play with this just a little bit. We'll see if there's anything at the bottom. Well, here's the results. Not too bad. I may, may have had a little bit too much pitch on there or something, but it caught awful lot of micro, absolutely minuscule little pieces of gold. All those little dots right there are gold. There was probably a couple hundred of them, but I saw a lot more larger ones like that there stick on that indicator mat and then go washing on down to the mat. Could it be user error? Very well could be. Uh, it's just a matter of testing. You know what? That's what we always say around here. Test, test, test. So we're going to get the heck out of here. He's shivering cold. <laughs> it's starting to snow again. God darn it. The winter that never was, might be, I don't know, something to that effect. So until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build our channel, especially if you have any awesome advice about that darn dredge down there. And don't forget to check out our Patreon page. Flower Gold Wizards, out. Oh.